Okay, welcome to the Twisted Tea Best Post Race Show Ever from Washougal. We got fans, cheer. Yeah. We're slowly but surely bringing this back. Uh, well, I got the heartthrob and we got Marshall Welton here. Um, uh, do you like this track? What's this track? I'm like Jersey Sand Pit guy. You'd hate it, but how does it go for you? Uh, today was actually, the dirt was much better. Like last year, so hard packed. Today had like way deeper ruts and some, uh, some tacky sections. So today was honestly for the track much better. Okay. Uh, how'd it work for you, Marsh? That was good. This is Koromoto for sure. Like, just natural elevation, good chop. I, I like this place. It's cool. You get punched in the face or something, dude? Yeah. Okay, you got punched in the face. By him? He's pissed. Yeah, yeah I know. His teammate. You guys seem to find each other. I don't know how it went today. You find each other. You have some battles, right? We definitely battle. battle. Today? No, not today. Okay. Uh, you, you had him? <laughs> no. Uh, first moto, I was in the first turn oh that's right instantly got, you're yeah, in the I mechanics got, i got smoked so uh that's right we had a rough a very rough day but it's all right marsh did good he took uh held the held the fort down you know what i'm saying the t flag today somebody's got to do it this right, thanks is easy. good stuff oh wow it just went to another level do you see how the lines for me oh like, yeah, yeah baby i was out spotting for the boys <laughs> did like, he did it help he's like Marsh, I'm gonna ask me, I'm gonna ask you right now. Where did I tell you to go on the track? And then I had to report it back to him, like it was like a like a oh, report no. card. Yes. Hey, hey, absolutely. Because us motocrossers, we tend to forget very easily. So we went through a whole track map, and I said, "What are you gonna look for on the first sight lap?" We went through some of the lines that I thought were good, and uh, some of the lines where he was losing a little bit of time. And uh, it clearly worked second moto. I was cheering on both the boys, and it was it was a good day for us. Wow. Adam Entignap, Entignap here coming, rotter coach and everything. You need to bring him all the races. Uh, uh, Eli Tomek and Chase Sexton had another unbelievable battle today. This time Sexton gets the edge. We'll talk to some riders here in the post-race media corral. All right, Chase Sexton finally broke through for that overall win you've been looking for. Finally broke through for the moto win you've been looking for. How's it feel at the end of the day? Uh, that one felt really, really good. Um, I've been looking for that since we had this break. and. Um, my first moto win for the, these these four races, so that was uh, really good. And then obviously it was for the overall and um, winning here last year. It was cool to come back and back it up. And um, man, it couldn't be a better way to head into the break with some a little bit of momentum and kind of stop the bleeding a little bit. And now we can focus on what we have ahead of us. And uh, that race gave me chills when I went over the finish line. That was gnarly. Um, pace was high once again, and just uh, it was an unbelievable race. Brian Dungey, well, I mean. First moto aside, second moto was great. Speed looked good all day. You got to be pretty happy about it overall, right? You, you know, I, I am happy with it. Um, you know, first practice is always uh, tough. It's just kind of the track's still sloppy. Yeah. Second moto, my fastest time comes from there. Sorry, second practice. But uh, we made some progress this week with the bike, and it translated into the weekend, which was always nice. The, yeah. the race, I feel like, is the true test. And, you know, this track does favor me a little bit, for sure, just as far as how the, you know, my riding style and stuff. But, man, got a good start first moto. Got the whole shot. Chase quickly got by me. But, um, man, I just tried to hook onto his wheel and for about two, three laps just stayed right there. And uh, that, that was nice. And Eli was right there behind as well. And um, I, I think for me, I really wanted to just go the distance with those guys. And, um, you know, no matter if I, you know, it, physically it was going to be tough. But, um then we had a little bit of a bike malfunction, and nobody's fault. It's just it's racing. Had a little electrical issue, and um, so the guys, you know, re-gutted, redid the whole bike, make sure everything electronic, everything engine, and so the second moto, um, I didn't have a great gate pick, so I was way inside, and I even kind of butchered the start a little bit too, and uh, I think I came around 13th. So, but the good thing was, I, I feel like. Turning the negative into a positive, I felt good on the bike. Um, I was able to ride the bike hard, yeah. and the bike was working good too. And I, from there, I just started picking guys off. Yeah. And so, I mean, going from there to four, I got to fourth and was making a run in on third. Yeah. So overall, yeah, it, you know, not the overall we wanted, and you know, it's bike malfunction, but it was still a good day. Right. All right, well, Joey Savacci, I mean, for the way the day started, I mean, I guess it ended pretty well. So how do you feel about it all? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, the last couple of weeks have been have been a grind. Just been dealing with a lot of nagging stuff, so uh, this break couldn't come at a better time. Uh, I'm gonna go home back to Florida this week and just take the week off and try to let the body recover. Um, trying to play catch up so much, it's been uh, kind of been putting ourselves in a hole in a way. But um, like I said, the break's coming at a great time, and uh, I'll go home, spend the week at home, see the wife and the kids, and try to recharge and. Uh, Come back, California, and we'll have two weeks to get ready for the for the last four. 
Okay, that's uh, Riders Talking 450 class. Uh, Kellen Brower here to help. Uh, I'm Jason Wygan. I didn't, don't think I even said my name at the beginning. Uh, so you talked to the guys after the race. Um, Tomac in the press conference said, this is the hardest I've been pushed week to week my whole career. And uh, Sexton finally got it. He just finally got it. Was anything different? I don't Did know. He, say that? I don't he didn't say that? No, not really. He's, yeah. I mean, he, I think he likes his track better, the clay-based okay. stuff like yeah. he's been saying. But uh, I don't know that anything was wildly different. I think yeah. that just last week he pushed him the same way, and he couldn't get around him in the second moto. And then the first moto he could. So it switched this week. You know, this first moto we couldn't get around him this week. They fell onto each other, I guess. But yes. uh, couldn't get around him. Second moto started in front of him and then stayed in front of him. So I think that's just... They're just the same pace. Yeah. I mean, the first moto, they ran the exact same fastest lap time. I, I On don't the last think, lap, by the way. I don't think you can get any closer than that. No. They no. are going so much faster than everybody else and yep. pushing each other to a level that I don't know that they're even comfortable pushing at, yeah. but they're doing it every single moto. It's incredible. I, I talked to Ryan Dungey at the end of the day, and he's like, I remember when Tomac was doing that to me, so <laughs> now you got to deal with it, Eli. Yep. Yeah, with the young, the young gun. Uh, really fun and really exciting. Dunge, though. Kind of a heartbreak. Could have been a podium yeah. today. Yeah. Well, we talked to him afterwards as well, and, and he said that he felt good today. Like, he felt like he could go. Um, I asked him last week about his, like, early moto intensity, yeah. and he said that's something he's still working on. Yeah. So I asked him, like, the first three laps of the first moto, hey, that's, like, that's pretty good. You were hanging with them. Yeah. You were, like, challenging Sexton a little bit. And he's like, yeah, I felt very comfortable in that position, which he hadn't felt yeah. all year. So um, he's definitely making progress, as we keep saying every week. But, man, the, the bike issue, very unfortunate. We didn't really get to see what he could have done, which I think maybe finally would have been the podium today. It was almost like the perfect race day all around, except for that dungeon deal. Really been fun to see if uh, he could have battled those guys. But Team Fried's pumped because Jason Anderson is uh, third overall, second week in a row. Uh, 250 class, uh, once again, doesn't matter what everybody does. Somehow Jet Lawrence is going to win the overall no matter what. Uh, let's get to our post-race thoughts of our 250 riders. How does it just feel to finally like break through and maybe kind of ride like you know how to ride, right? Yeah, of course. It was uh, it was a great second moto. Great great start to the day. We just kind of ventured off and down the wrong path with the bike, and we went back to what we started with on the day. So, uh, yeah, I was uh, kind of lost in the first moto. Didn't have much intensity, but got fired up for the second one, and you know everything was clicking. And it hasn't felt that way in a while. So it was pretty uh, refreshing to have that and. The, the second moto came a lot easier than the first one did for me, and that's, uh, that's, uh, it's, good, it's good to feel that. So I haven't felt that in a while. Yeah, it wasn't a bad day. Like, first moto I was pretty happy with. I rode up with the front runners for a while, that moto, then had a tip over. But, like, besides that, it was good to run up there and kind of that pace is – I'm getting close to that pace more and more this season, but I just got to run it for a bit longer. Then, uh, yeah, just improve on some things. So, yeah, second moto is uh, – bummer i kind of was rushing it early on and then got some arm pump and just wasn't riding like myself and like i was in the first moto so it's pretty frustrating on that but this is what it is yeah. all right jet lawrence well i mean you say you don't really love this track but you still walk away with the overall win so at the end of the day like pretty happy about it right maybe i should just complain about every track if that's the case no it's uh to be honest i think i just got lucky today really I, it was a big luck factor i think with going 2-2 and hunter having a fortunate unfortunately going down the second one so I just got lucky on that one I mean uh, I think I could have pushed maybe to Justin but had a few sketchy moments I'm like you know what I'd rather bring it home on two wheels I'd rather take a second or whatever that may be and and bring it home safe so I mean uh yeah lucky day um yeah really good qualified p8 again which matched my best matching best today um yeah I felt really good comfortable uh I, I think it was smart to come to California ride some really hard pack went to Paulo it was really dry that day and then went to Elsinore kind of set up the bike for that that kind of setting and I feel like that helped a lot because we brought that setting straight to today and I felt comfortable right away um so that that really helped and I think that was a really good smart move to do that all right welcome back to the show we had some Australians here we got some fans we need to catch up with uh Australians that decided to move to Canada because they like snow that's right, we raced snow bikes up in Canada, ride the back country. But we came down here and raced the amateur racing, support yep. the Aussie boys. I saw you, there are almost never fans when they go over the top of Horsepower Hill. There are never fans back there, and I see this army of Australian flags. That was you guys? Yeah, we uh, took over. We actually claimed at the island of Australia, just up on the hill there for a while. Everyone vacated, I don't know why, but yeah, we had a good time. We, we could see, like, every time they come past, they were looking up at us going, yeah, the Aussie boys. Yeah. But seriously, though, with the Lawrence brothers doing what they're doing, does that make it like a must do? Like, we got to get to a race. We have this thing going, this amazing thing. As an Australian, it has to make it so much more important to come to these races. Absolutely, man. It's yeah. been a lot of years. Like, Chad Reed was our number one guy. It's what yeah. 
what we followed for so many years yep. and then once uh, Chad retired or sort of wasn't on the podium as much we all looked for someone else and there was a lot that came and tried but finally the Lawrences are here to deliver and hey Nations is coming up and mm -hmm. I cannot wait. Redbird! There it is. <laughs> you guys gonna go that? Yep. Oh hell yeah we'll oh, be there. Yeah. The flags will be back. <laughs> We're gonna be back. Right. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. <laughs> That's, that could be the stiffest competition for Team USA. I, w I was at 2011 St. John Angelé yeah. where Australia got third with Medi, Mossy and Reedy. Yeah. So like, you know, we're ready again for another podium performance. Reed won a moto there. He won a moto at 2-2. Yeah. It, yeah. it was insane. Uh, so that'd be good at Redbud. Uh, come in here, Ari Baxter. Uh, they made fun of my shoes. They were dirty the last time I did a Pulp MX live show. So this guy's like... My mom works for Nike, I'm gonna get you some shoes. So see, it pays off to have not a style. People help you, so I appreciate that. No problem, Weege, happy to do it. And to the guy that was making fun of Weege, next time you're in Seattle, better look out. Yeah, yeah. Joke's on you, I got Nikes out of the deal. He won. Yeah, yeah, I won, so appreciate that. Where did Moser and all his guys go? That might be for the best. That might be for the best, that they're gone. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Uh, yeah, shocking. You're looking for a twisted tee. Yeah, you know what? They don't need any more help. Uh, that's our post show. Uh, congrats out to Jet Lawrence somehow winning again, even though Hunter. We wanted Hunter to win. I mean, dude, Hunter might have had him covered. We really wanted Hunter. You wanted Hunter. We wanted Hunter. Just to change it up. We yeah, we want some. We want a bit of fight. Yeah. We want a bit of fight. Uh, it should have happened. You want and the older brother. You know, you want the older brother to put the championship into closer. That's right. Yeah. You know, just same as Sexton catching Tomac and. You know, you're going to keep it close. Yeah, That's what yeah. It's all about. Root for the second place guy to close up and, and take this down to the wire. Uh, okay, that's our show. Uh, congrats, to, by the way, to Justin Cooper for finding his old form. He said actually even better than last year, so I'm wrong about that. And he won the second moto. We'll see if that carries Unadilla. We got two weeks off, uh, but we'll have lots of coverage from Loretta Lynn's in between. Twisted T bringing you the best post show ever. See you at Unadilla. Woo!